after you smash that like button and smash that subscribe button while you're at it hit the bell so you can get notified next time I upload a video today we're gonna be updating ourselves on the fiasco of Sharon Osbourne's exit from the talk you heard me right people it's an exit from the talk since CBS announced that Sharon Osbourne's behavior does not align with their values. This comes on the heels of that heated March 10th exchange between Amanda Klutz initiated that conversation. Then Elaine Welteroth jumped in on that conversation and Cheryl Underwood jumped in on the conversation about Pierce Morgan's racist comments and Sharon Osbourne's defense of Pierce Morgan's racist comments about Meghan Markle. After that heated exchange, that day when basically Sharon Osbourne imploded on national American TV, her 11 season tenure on the view, I mean, on the talk is basically the view with other people on a different network, in my opinion. Anyway, so after 11 seasons on the talk, it's all coming to an end. The events of the March 10th broadcast were upsetting for everyone involved, including the audience watching at home. As part of our review, CBS says, we concluded that Sharon's behavior toward her co-host during the March 10th episode did not align with our values for a respectful workplace. We also did not find any evidence that the CBS executives orchestrated the discussion or blindsided any of the hosts. Okay, so as we can see, CBS basically um, investigated based on Elaine Walter Roth's um, and her hairdressers um, going to HR and demanding that they do something about that exchange because they felt like it was um, a not nice place to work at after that heated exchange. And then let Sharon Osbourne tell it though in her variety interview that she demanded the investigation because the production had to have done this because she was set up and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? That never fit with me because how can you be set up about a topic when it's a topic that you found out about before the show. So it never really matched. But anyway, Sharon's out. Um, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. Holly Robinson Pete said that she was called ghetto by Sharon Osbourne. Leah Remedy said that she was called ghetto by Osbourne and that she called Julie Chin wonton and slanty eyes and that she made a really horrible remark about being a liquor or something for Sarah Gilbert, the original creator and executive producer of the talk. So we'll, we'll be looking to see who takes over as moderator of the show. Um, and oh yeah, the talk will not be returning until April until April. So they are basically taking a month off following that fiasco on March 10th. Because they won't be returning till I think it's April 12th. And hopefully they'll come back and be ready to do what they used to do, which is talk. And hopefully the rest of the co-hosts will be healed and be able to move forward. CBS did mention that they are also going to be starting to do some sensitivity trainings and stuff like that. Um and in the meantime, I wonder what Sharon's going to do. We haven't heard anything from Sharon. I, we don't, uh, from what we understand, Sharon Osborne has not reached out to Cheryl Underwood. I feel like after cussing Cheryl Underwood out on national TV, somebody who is her friend in air quotes, I think that she should have apologized to Cheryl Underwood on TV. Anyway, leave a comment below. What do you think? Do you think that this is enough? Oh, yeah. I also heard that Sharon Osbourne was demanding a huge payout or else she was going to tell. Leave a comment. Thanks for tuning in.